Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and today we will limit break one of the most well-known weapons in Vampire Survivors, which is garlic. I think everyone who played or even didn't play Vampire Survivors is very familiar with garlic and yeah, that's a weapon that we'll go for today, but um, <laughs> we are playing on inverse mode. That means the enemies have triple the amount of HP and to deal with that, we have to cheese the game a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, uh, yeah, we have to cheese it a lot, okay? Like, like no joke. <laughs> So we will start with the Bloodline Arcana, and honestly, like, I, tr I tried it a couple of times, okay? The problem is the enemies, they grow so rapidly that it's literally impossible for you to beat the game, and we have to go for this for a mix of, um, let's hope that with Curse we get to bump the enemies and kill them, you know, that our HP grows, and therefore also our damage. If you enjoy the video, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. And in case you're not familiar with the Arcana, when enemies touch you, they take retaliatory damage, which is based on your armor and the base value, so we also want to take armor, but there you see it. And the more you kill in that way, the more your HP grows. Every single kill gives you 0 0.5 HP. Now, you may notice the issue, and I may even have to reset. It may already be too late that I bumped up the garlic so much that we simply can't grow easily. Like, let's hope for the best, okay? But you have to do a mix of make sure that you have enough damage to actually kill the enemies with the contact damage, because otherwise they touch you and garlic will kill them. You know, then you get nothing out of that. Like, the important part is really that you end up killing them. Okay, let's actually max this out. Ooh. Um, well, that doesn't really change anything, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of ironic. <laughs> so we will go for the silver ring early on, and honestly, I may just die, and this is just straight up impossible. Hollow Heart will go for that very soon, but as the last item, because it increases the current HP that we have in the moment where we upgrade it, so we want to make sure that we have as much HP as possible, and we will actually trigger both Guardians, okay? I don't know if we can deal with that, like if we can even do that, it, it may just be too hard, but I have to take at least one level up in Hollow Heart that I can pick pick up the stage items. Um, okay, I may actually have to redo this entire thing very soon. Like, it may turn out that we are just way too powerful right now, which may sound weird, but look at this. The enemies are dying and we actually need them to run into me to deal contact damage that I can grow my HP and therefore my damage. What we pretty much need to avoid is that I'm so strong that I kill the weak enemies and, you know, they just keep dying and we don't grow. And then all of a sudden, they are the super strong enemies that spawn and they just kill me. Oh my god, even when I run into them, it doesn't do anything, huh? Yeah, that's not great. Now, we will still banish the bonus curse that we get on Toruna because there is no reason to take that. Like, as I said, it's, it's really, really hard to do this. And it may turn out that it's straight up impossible to win because some of the waves may just be way too powerful. Like, they just outscale us or there are, for example, bosses in here that are way too fast and we can't deal with them. I have to see how that plays out. Okay, for now, let's just hope for the best. We have the Empty Tome here. That is amazing. I think there are... Oh, wow. We got the max amount of empty tomes. Four is the maximum. Yeah, it will take a while until we get to strong waves. That will be a problem that may hit us. In fact, okay, minute three will be an interesting test. It may already be the case that they get in since we haven't gotten limit break so far. Aside from that, minute six and seven will be a major test how strong we are. So hopefully we have limit break at that point because otherwise I don't know what to do. Ooh, and oh, oh, that's good. 128, okay, can I bump this up with these enemies if I touch them? There, 128, 130, it's just a little tiny bit, it's really not a lot. And we have a small conflict going on, because I went for this Arcana, the Divine Bloodline, we can't go for all the Arcanas that you would like to go for. Now one that I definitely want to have, and we'll banish that right now, one that I definitely want to have is the Silent Old Sanctuary Arcana, because that one will reduce the cooldown even further. Now technically speaking, we could also go for the Prince that reduces the time it takes to to make another attack. It kind of sounds like the same thing, doesn't it? Okay, listen, apparently it works differently, but like kind of not. It's, it's a little bit confusing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but then we also want to go for Boogaloo of Illusions. So, yep, there's a lot of stuff in there that we want. And we are already at the HP item, so I will focus on the Metallio for now. We could have also taken the Pumarula to heal more. You can banish the Soul Eater that you never evolved to it before you even start the stage. So that would be fine. Oh, how do we deal with the curse here? Um, I don't think I can easily avoid them, right? 
Yeah, look at that. Well, okay, so far it's actually, it's manageable. I would like to go back now, there we go, okay. No, that is, okay, that is manageable. I'm more concerned about the times where we have so much curse because of Wicked Season, we get 1% every second level up, that they might just be so fast that they kill me. So, what is the plan, Dex? Well, I guess we just wait for a freeze and an NFT to burn the butts. Okay, let's do that. Since we don't have Google Law of Illusions, it's very important that we take the Silver Ring for bonus area to hit the enemies from further away. Okay, there's even more luck. Wow. Hey, how much luck do we have? Wow, 101%, that is a lot <laughs> early on. I think we got two little clovers, right? So the problem is these dudes, I think they have a base HP of 3000 and that is tripled here and multiplied by 10 because that's how the game works. And that kind of means, uh, yeah, they have way too much HP, okay. <laughs> like way, way, way too much. Can we even get through the wave six and seven? Uh, now that I think about it, I, that may actually be impossible. Because we can't even kill these enemies here with Curse, so how do we deal with even stronger ones, right? Hmm... Okay, we have a lot of HP, look at this, our might growing. There is a double growth going on. One is that it increases your might, so you deal more damage, and the second one is that it gives you a bonus flat damage to your weapon. I'm at least pretty sure that Garlic is affected by that, looking at the... Actually... Oh, we have, we have really low damage, right? Uh... Oh... I think garlic is not even affected by that. At least we still get a mind growth, but that is horrible. Oh no. Oh, that could be a problem. That could be a very big problem. Ooh, wow, they almost hit me. Okay, um, 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 There was a red gem over there. I want to get that with the growth doubling. Can I, can I get that in time? Yep, there it is. Perfect. And I'll also get the chicken. Okay, so now we're in limit break territory. And it honestly, it doesn't really matter what we get because both are really good. Area means that we can hit the enemies from further away and they are more likely to die before they hit me. Every single enemy has a certain cooldown time, you know? So the weapon has an internal cooldown where it says, I just hit you and now I have to wait. I think it's 0.5 seconds until I can hit you again. And that is important to know. That is why cooldown and area matter so much. Though, like, cooldown doesn't even matter that that much, right? Because you have this internal cooldown. Um, yeah, I'm really scared of this. Okay, so how is it looking? So the good thing is... Oh, there's a freeze. If we get an NFT. Yeah, so the good thing is we will grow our HP. 835? Did we actually kill them? Is it, um, a few of them. Like, don't think just because they touch me and die. Like, that doesn't mean that we automatically get HP. I have to kill them with contact damage. Now, the curse is about to happen. I... Uh, we have a double freeze. I can actually use one of those. Yeah, I would like to save some HP. 845. We are slowly scaling. But the good thing is we are scaling. And look at the damage of the garlic right now. It's over 100. That is quite a lot. Like, that is a severe amount. Um, actually, way more than I expected. Wow. Well, that's, that's not bad. As long as we keep growing like that, I'm happy. Now, the irony is, I keep healing up, and that means my might bonus is going down because it's the difference of our current HP to our max HP. But that still means if we don't have enough damage, then I will lose HP, and that will increase my damage, and yeah, then we just get touched again, you know? So that's good. We kill them with retaliatory damage. So it's kind of a self-sustaining system, I would say. That's maybe the right word. I'm honestly just mostly amazed that we got through this wave so easily. And we are still dealing with the Guardians, kind of. I mean, once we're at minute 11, we can go for Boogaloo of Illusions and take the area to a whole new level. Technically speaking, I would prefer, probably, to go for Silent Old Sanctuary and Tragic Princess. Is, is that better? Like, to go max out on cooldown? And sure, we don't have max size garlic. Huh. Okay, I'll be honest, I think that's actually better, right? To just hit as often as possible, that's way better. Uh, uh, hmm. I think I should actually do that. Uh, as much as I hate saying it. Because I do love Boogaloo of Illusions. But you know what? We'll do a compromise. Here you go, you'll get your Boogaloo of Illusions soundtrack. And we will not pick it in this game, okay? Boogaloo of Illusions! Happy? Okay, I hope you're happy. There we go. <laughs> but do you see that, how long it takes to hit the Guardians again? That is pretty much a 0 0.5 second cooldown. And I think Tragic Princess actually reduces that, while just getting cooldown reduction wouldn't change this, because this is like the limit. Um, there's another freeze. I could use that here. Sure. Because these enemies are so weak either way, that they will always die to our garlic, even with curse. Actually, oh, I should have checked that maybe before I say that. Yeah, that may have been really good to see they touch me. Did they? Okay, did they actually touch me? 
with Curse. I think they did, right? So I would have wanted that, because that would have been a huge amount of HP growth since they are super weak. I don't want to jinx it, but I'll say, so far it's looking very good, but then again, so far we also only face like super easy waves. Except for minute 6 and 7, that was surprisingly easy. I didn't expect that, but can I like just get an NFT? The NFT is the fire thing on the floor, where you breathe fire. Ouch, okay, they hurt a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that is a fire thing. It's called Nuta Tuta Futa or something like that. I got that wrong. I know I got it wrong, doesn't matter. But yeah, that's like the short version's NFT, which was a meme on NFTs when they were hyped up, you know. And like, that's not a Dex Insider. That is literally what they are called in the game because people always ask me, like, Dex, what are you talking about with the NFTs? Like, what's going on? Like, no, that's just what they are called in the game. I can't change it. Okay, wait a second. Curse happens. Okay, let me fully hate HP. Let me fully recover my HP as much as I can. Do you? Oh my god, we're actually hitting them. Do you think I grow HP? 960? It's just, like, it's not that much, but the good thing is we now have enough to max out our might bonus, so it can't go higher. And now the question is if the Divine Bloodline actually applies to the garlic to give it the flat bonus. Ah, uh, but it doesn't look like it, right? The damage would be way higher otherwise. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of split between Boogaloo of Illusions and the Princess, because... Uh, you know, the issue is, technically speaking, the princes should be better, but at the same time, if you have so much area that you always hit them wherever they are, it's really helpful to, to deal with them, right? Mm. But I do remember, I think in normal mode we actually lost with garlic. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not gonna take my chances. We will play all-out mode here. Well, all-out mode would actually be that we go for something like the Gold Fever Arcana, where we heal a ginormous amount. Yeah, that would be the right choice. One thing you have to keep in mind is, and this may save my butt, we have Tiragizu, and when you die in this game, you revive with half HP. Now, if you have a ginormous amount of HP, that means you have half of a ginormous amount of HP when you revive every single time, you know? So we may even get through hardcore waves just by having a ginormous amount of HP and surviving that way. Um, but like, like, Rosary? NFT? Something? Hello? <laughs> I, I need to kill the Arcana bat. This is, by the way, what it looks like without the damage numbers. Kill-wise, not all too impressive, I gotta say. I can't believe that we have, like, the strongest Arcana in this game damage-wise, and Silent Old Sanctuary wouldn't change anything anymore. Well, we would get 100% bonus right now, but once we are lower, it wouldn't change anything, because the bonus is kept at 900%. Yeah, I mean, there's another free Should I just take that to not take too much damage here? I don't know. I kind of don't feel like it, but maybe it would be good. Yeah, let's do that. I'm actually getting tilted right now. <laughs> Usually I find so many NFTs and rosaries when I don't need them anymore. And right now it's like, yep, these dudes are still chasing me. And, and nothing, nothing. Look at this. There's just nothing. Are you kidding me? Oh! We could take the Gold Fever Arcana at... Oh, there we go, finally. We could take the Gold Fever Arcana at 21 minutes, right? That would also work. Yeah, sure. Let's actually see how we perform with Silent Old Sanctuary. Oh, wow. Dude. We slap. Do what? Do, huh? How... How is that... Oh, well, I mean, okay, to be fair, so before we had 55% cooldown, and now we are down to, what do we have? 15, right? Yeah, so that's a ginormous difference, it does make sense. Um, wait, how fast do we actually attack now? Let's see. Huh. Wait, imagine we had the princess now. Like, we could deal a ginormous amount of damage here. Yeah, even the boss died there, super quickly. Like, just remember how long it took to kill the bat, and now we just wiped out the boss there. That could be worth a consideration over the gold fever arcana, because it would be a lot more fun than having gold sprinkled around all the time. And another problem of the gold fever arcana is, it only works if you actually get kills, because otherwise you don't get gold, right? Well, I guess you can still pick up chests and stuff like that. But that would mean I don't want to pick up the chests now, in case I want to go for that. Yeah. So how long does it take to kill this bat? This one spawned at 14 minutes. Let's see. Let's walk through here. Um... Okay, it does take quite some time, way longer than I would hope for. As long as it doesn't take 3 minutes, like with the Arcana bat, I'm happy. <laughs> that was insane. Okay, wow. Wait, that was super fast. Yeah, look at that. Hold on a moment. Okay, I was expecting that this would be... Okay, how many of these luck items will we get and free... Huh? Did you just do that? How did you do that? Th that was way faster than I thought it would be. And, like, look at the... 
Huh? Wait, how strong is actually garlic? So one good thing about garlic is it only has two limit break upgrades. Number one is area and number two is might. And area is capped at a certain point. It just stops that you get it on level ups and that means you only focus on damage. And that is actually a beautiful part about this weapon because that means you have one of the strongest damage growths in this game except for weapons that have crit, you know, because their damage growth is multiplied because of the crit. But yeah, um, that is actually quite nutty. You spawned at 15 minutes. Okay, how long do you survive? Also around now, or... Hmm. Okay, it's a little bit longer. Oh, it's actually quite long, isn't it? The good thing is, the bosses can't really get through. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, okay, careful. Curse. Even with curse, they can't do anything. <laughs> Wait. How is this going so much better than anything else I've ever done before with garlic? Uh, that isn't... So oh, oh, oh. Ooh, these witches deal so much damage. Okay, we have to be... That's not what I wanted to do. That's okay. We got a huge amount of level ups there. That is nice. There's a gold fever. I want to keep that in case we decide to go for the arcana. But honestly, like, right now, I either want to go for Google or for Lucians, but I don't really feel like it. And I think Tragic Princess that reduces the cooldown even further is just the best choice that we have, right? So that makes the most sense, yeah. Oh. There is one more. <laughs> Um, if we want to cheese this, like, an insane amount, there is one more. Do we want to do that? How exciting would that be? So, we could also go for Awake, because we have a ginormous amount of revivals, right? So we could go up from currently 3 revivals to 6, and every single time we die we get plus 1 armor, as well as bonus stats. A minor amount of bonus stats, but most importantly, we get 10% bonus HP for every single death. Um, I think that would be the most insane one. The most exciting one is probably the Tragic Princess. Let me actually freeze them because they start dealing a lot of damage. Tragic Princess is probably the most exciting one because we just start nuking the enemies with attacks. Let's be honest, we can't even deal with these guys here. And later on it will be way harder to kill the enemies. So going for a defensive route that just allows us to survive forever, or at least, you know, the tougher waves, that may be the better approach, yeah. Let's do that, sure, sure, why not? But I would say this mainly depends on how many revivals do I lose until we get it. Because right now I'm losing a ginormous amount of HP and that could be a problem. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a freeze over there, do I care enough to take it? I don't think so. The wave is about to be over and I think 18 is quite easy, right? Okay, let's turn off the damage numbers for a while. The thing is with garlic, you don't see anything either way, so the question is, is it really worth it to turn off the damage numbers and... Mm, I actually gotta say, it's quite nice. The, the enemies just die. Oh, but imagine this with Tragic Princess, with more attacks. I wish it would be possible to make a life vote that you guys can decide on what I should do. Because in moments like this, it's so hard for me to say, do we want to have more area, do we want to have more attacks, do we want to be super duper tanky, you know, and guarantee that we win. Hmm, uh, I don't like that, I don't like this at all. Uh, there's a vacuum over there, I'll pick that up. Okay, there we go, nice. Wait, how is this actually so easy? <laughs> Wait, what is going on with you, Garlic? How, how is this so easy? Okay, 19 minutes, oh, this will be even easier, right? Yeah, these dudes, they are not very tanky. The boss is the only thing that really bothers me. And this is why I want to have the Tragic Princess, the only problem being you have to keep moving with it all the time. So you know what, let's, let's freeze that, let's put an end to this. Can you imagine if we started with less than 100 health, with a weapon that is specifically designed to kill enemies close by, and somehow we have over 1000 HP right now? Which is not a ridiculous amount, right? We had builds with over 100,000 HP. In fact, we had some builds that had so much HP that not even the Reaper could one-shot us. Like, I survived a single hit from the Reaper. Uh, oh, um, okay, I, I really need to freeze these waves. Yeah, and I, honestly speaking, I don't think if I would go for the Tragic Princess that it would be enough to deal with the enemies. But then again, we have three revivals, you know, so maybe it would be enough to just stutter the enemies and walk away from them because we attack way faster. Like, do you see that with the ghost? They also stutter, and now imagine we attack way faster. That could actually work. <laughs> Have you noticed something that is missing? Have you noticed it? I haven't gotten a single rosary. I haven't gotten a single NFT. There's still none. How is that possible? Wait, what? Look at this. There's nothing. I wanted to have it now for the next arcana, but there's just nothing. Huh? 
Wait, how is how is that possible? Do you know the odds of that to happen? I didn't banish them, I know that for a fact, because I just reset everything that I did in there and redid them, because garlic works very differently compared to most other weapons, as in duplicator doesn't apply and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> how much bonus, like, how much gold clovers have we gotten and not a single rosary and NFT? Wait, what? Okay, this is a little bit ridiculous. So I made a decision, and I would love to know what you would have picked. If you would have went for the Awake, for the bonus revival and the HP amount every single time I die, or the Princess. But I'll go for the Princess. Now there is another one that we could have also went for, which is the Blood Astronomia. But honestly speaking, you kind of want to focus on that. You need Duplicator, you need a Track Orb, you know, to max it out, and we don't have that. So that feels a little bit half-hearted, and I don't want to take that. And I would also first, like, need to take a look at it, how it really works, and, like, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. we don't need that. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, this would actually turn the chickens into a nuke, right? They give, like, 100 HP with that. That deals AoE damage. Oh my god, why are there so many things that would be good? This is a little bit annoying. Okay. <laughs> Heart of Fire? Definitely not, no. Okay, these all suck. Yeah, we don't want them. There's a Tragic Princess, and there's Wake. Oh, look at this. That would be 60% bonus HP, but it's actually way more, because it always applies to the current HP, so it would be 120 first, then 140, then 160, yeah, hmm, hmm, <laughs> no, let's go for the Tragic Princess, let's do it, right, you do apply, yeah, okay, let's see, oh, <gasps> wait, what, that, huh, um, okay, first of all, I'm about to die, second of all, how fast do you attack now, <laughs> what, <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, there's a triple chicken. That is really nice. A 69 HP. I love it. Now let's pick this up. We don't want to die to curse. We need to heal up now because we took way too much damage. Um, but this may... Do you think this will do the trick? Is this enough? Uh, the thing is, there will be enemies so we will have a ginormous amount of damage and that could be our doom and big problem. Though keep in mind the lower our HP... Um, did I mess it up? The thing is, even a Awake may have not been enough, because if you can't kill the enemies, it doesn't matter if you can tank them, because eventually you will die. Wait, but this is what I was hoping for, that the enemies get staggered so much that they can't get to me, and I can just try to shoot them. Now I will turn this off again, because that's a little bit too much, but 210 damage is a lot. Okay, um, oh, the bitches hurt so much, do we just go? Yeah, I'll just take this now. There we go, okay. Ooh, okay, the curse is evil. I have to make sure to always have a freeze when curse happens. I'll not take the freeze down there right now, because that would be wasted. We want to have this on a full cycle, but yeah, okay, this is dangerous. Oh, this is really dangerous. I guess the gold fever arcana. I could have also picked that, right? Because look at the amount of gold we are getting. And every single time we get gold, we would have healed. Oh, that would have been a guaranteed win, wouldn't it? Yeah. But wouldn't that have been a little bit boring? <laughs> Honestly speaking, I think this is way more exciting what we are doing right now. Also, we would have gotten way less kills, right? Because our attack speed would have been way lower. Um, okay, it's actually... It's, it may be difficult to say what is the best option to take here. Dex, why didn't you play on Abyss Foscari like you always do? Wait, it's impossible. It's impossible. The enemies are too insane. Like, early enemies, they take no knockback, a lot of them, and it's really hard to deal with them. But the thing is, the chumps from weak enemies that you can deal with to strong enemies that wipe you out happens really early. And then it goes back to enemies that you can deal with, but at that point you're already dead, you know? So, yeah, that just... it, it doesn't work. You can forget about it. Maybe you can make it work if you try, like, everything out that maybe there to your disposal like revivals but then you don't have revivals uh, it sounds bad to me like it didn't work out so we are on the library and hey isn't it nice to play the garlic on the library um 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 okay okay i need a freeze i need a freeze how am i by the way how am i not dying so i don't think i can stand but i can't stand still either way because of tragic princess but if i go here for example do we deal with the enemies uh, new wave has spawned, there's also a boss. I want to have this freeze over here, that's why I'm staying here right now. And there we go, perfect. Well, that was not perfectly timed, but it's, it's good enough, it's good enough. Imagine getting a rosary on NFT, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm actually wondering right now if I sealed them accidentally, but no, I didn't. I reset everything before I started this. 
And I actually considered if I want to banish the freezes, but that would have been horrible. Because that carried us so far really hard. How are we doing? Oh, how is it possible that we have so much armor and they just wipe out my HP? Because at this point it doesn't matter if you revive with half HP, if they just kill me so quickly. Um, we need a freeze. There's a freeze. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I have to push through. I have... Ah, oh, but I'm losing way more HP than it helps me here. Yeah, I, I don't think that was good. And I don't think I want to pick up the freeze now. We need it on the next cycle. Th that was utterly horrible. Oh my god. Okay. Please, please, please end this. End this suffering. No, don't do this to me. Oh, come on. Um, 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 um. Okay, I gotta say one thing. If we die now with more damage, that means even with awake, we wouldn't have been able to do this because the enemy survived even longer and would have just killed me over time. Uh, yeah, we only have one arrival left. No. Is that really it? Really? Okay, I will pick these two up. Um, this doesn't really save my buttocks though. I need more, I need more everything. Dude, I have so much luck. How is this not enough? Like, just give me items. There's another freeze. Okay, perfect. Kind of phased it a little bit, but honestly, I needed to use it. Th I, there's nothing I can do. An awake would just make me weaker. The only thing that would work is, oh my god, look at the kills. Gold fever only works if you actually kill enemies. Look at the kill counter. Um, okay, now we are killing enemies, but imagine this with Curse. I'm pretty sure we won't kill any more enemies. And that would mean we have no way to outperform what we are doing right now. Like, I think this here is actually the best thing we can do. Can we maybe lag the game a little bit with the damage numbers? <laughs> I know this is a cheesy way of doing it, but like, if I don't get something amazing here that allows me to... There's a chest, there's a chicken somewhere there. Yeah, but this will not be enough, right? Yeah. No, there's another chicken, but there's no way I survive this. I have to magically find a freeze here or something. I mean, okay, there's a vacuum grate. That's great. Out of all the items I could have gotten. Wow. Really? But this was still the strongest garlic we've ever had. So I've given this a couple more tries. The problem with awake is you just die because you don't kill the enemies. Even like at minute 23 it was already. And if you go for the gold fever arcana, you will just die to moments where the enemies don't die. Like when certain waves spawn. So yeah, that was actually the best attempt that we could do here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.